I'm an avid cigar enthusiast on a weekend, especially like after a hard work week on a Friday afternoon. I really do enjoy lighting up a cigar, making myself a drink, sitting on my front porch, watching the world go by, and just relax. You're just lazy. It is an unbelievable kind of zen meditative experience. And if you aren't an avid cigar smoker, you probably won't believe me or won't know what I'm talking about, but it's true for me at least. So during the warm weather, that's perfectly okay. But what do you do in the winter? months when it's too cold. I live in western Pennsylvania so it gets extremely cold here. Don't make unnecessary journeys. I found myself sitting on my front porch when the temperature was below 50 degrees and wearing gloves trying to smoke a cigar and that is not okay. It takes away a lot of the enjoyment for me personally when smoking a cigar so I wanted an alternative method. So I decided to build myself a tiny little cigar lounge in my basement that would be much easier to filter the air and I wouldn't allow that smoke to get into the rest of my house and that would allow me to enjoy cigar smoking even in the really cold winter months. Just get on with it already. So step one, I chose a location in my house in my gross basement that already had a window so that I could exhaust the smoke out without cutting holes in the ceiling or walls. Step two, I started framing in the corner with standard two x four framing, making sure to cover the top of the structure with plastic so the smoke couldn't escape the room. Step three, I covered the window with plywood and screwed an exhaust vent into the opening and used two Vivisun six inch inline exhaust fans, one above the ceiling vent and another in between the window and the exhaust duct. These are great because they just plug into an outlet and don't require you to run any wiring. I also use an oversized air purifier. It's important to remove the smoke and to purify the air and this combo worked great for me. After this, I continue to close in the area and cover it with a layer of plastic and then thin plywood. Then of course, I needed to test the system for any flaws with an H. Upman barber pole. And luckily, the exhaust system seemed to evacuate the smoke just fine. And it's hard to tell from this crappy photo, but the plastic covering the door is actually being pulled into the room, showing me that there was negative pressure in the room and the exhaust was working as intended. Step four, I continue to cover the ceilings and walls in thin plywood and simple trim to cover the seams. I was gonna get much more detailed with this trim, but really got bored quickly into the process, so I kept it pretty simple. I added wainscoting and made a cheesy little fireplace to heat the space and to add a level of ambiance to the lounge. Step five, the finishing touches. I started painting the room a very dark gray, adding lighting and some faux leather chairs. And of course, paintings of dogs smoking cigars and playing poker. So now when you walk into my crappy basement, you can find this little cigar lounge oasis. It took me a good month to build, but I only worked a couple hours a day in my spare time, and it cost me around $2,000, which is way more expensive than a cigar tech. But for me, the experience is maybe just as important, if not more important, than the cigar I'm smoking. So I think it's worth it. There you go, I hope you enjoyed this. If you are interested in seeing maybe some of the future things that I do with this room, then please do all those things you're supposed to do to help a channel grow, and I will see you in the next one. I'm never coming back, never!